Coming up next, we head to California to visit Merino Livestock. This is the American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to the American Rancher. In our next segment, we're going to visit with Julio and Cindy Marino of Marino Livestock in Northern California. Cindy grew up in the rodeo business. Her father, Cotton Rosser, has been producing rodeos for more than 50 years. Together, Julio and Cindy have produced some of the most celebrated bucking bulls the industry has ever known. Julio and Cindy Marino have been raising quality bucking stock for over 20 years at their ranch in Marysville, California. It all started with NFR Bucking Bull number 9, Copenhagen One-Eye, a seven-time national finals rodeo bucking bull. His daughters were crossed with Whitewater Skull and Typhoon, and in 1996 their very first calf crop reached bucking age. Marino's bulls have bucked at every PBR final since, and as they say, the rest is history. My dad bought Whitewater in, in a sale yard in Stockton. A friend of ours bought three bulls, and that's how Whitewater came to us. He couldn't, uh, he wouldn't stay in, and he'd always jump out, so the fellow that owned him didn't want him anymore. All three of the bulls jumped out, and we were fortunate that Whitewater turned out to be such a good bucking bull and also a good sire. Years ago, I started with uh, some roping calves, uh, 60 head, and uh, we roped them. And then we went, uh, raised the, head. I kept the about 50, 54 head, I guess it was, and I put a bull called Copenhagen One Eye on them. And with that, I got some some good calves, heifers, and bulls. Mainly, I was after the bulls, and I started that way. And I put a, a white water on those. And that's kind of where I got started. What you see at Merino Livestock is the product of time, dedication, and a lot of hard work. It's been an exciting ride for Cindy and Julio, and along the way, they have had tremendous success. It's now time to share that success with you. Merino Livestock is offering bucking stock investors some outstanding foundation females, along with some great young females and bulls. This will be your opportunity to get your hands on some of the best producing genetics in the bucking bull breeding industry today. Mainly reindeers, there's some werewolf calves, uh, there's calves by uh, what we call Charlie's son and he is a son of CP47, Grandpa Charlie. So you have plumber genetics crossed onto reindeer. Calves that are out of domino cows, whitewater daughters, typhoon daughters. So you'll have a little mix of everything in these calves. Whitewater has become the cornerstone sire of not only the Merino herd, but has also influenced other programs as well. Whitewater was the first sire to buck alongside three of his sons at both the NFR and PBR finals. Whitewater is the sire of such notables as Big Mike, Charlie Bulware, and others. Probably the most notable has been Troubadour, the 2007 ABBI World Champion Classic Bucking Bull, who won over $365,000 last season. Charlie Bullware and Troubadour, of course, most people know, they're roommates. Uh, Charlie doesn't get along with anybody but Troubadour. He's, uh, he's only about this tall, but he thinks he's 10 feet tall, and he likes to fight, so uh, the only person he, or only bull he can hang with is Troubadour. Daughters of Whitewater have produced bulls like the 2008 PBR World Champion Bucking Bull, Bones, as well as Black Pearl and Hippie Music, just to name a few. These cows here are some Katie Did reindeers, uh, Houdini reindeer. I got a Whitewater reindeer out here. Uh, some Scat Cats, or uh, I guess it'd be White Sports Coat. And also right here, I've got a sister, a half sister to Troubadour. Julio and Cindy have a deep-rooted history in bull riding and rodeos. Julio has long been considered one of the best ropers in the world and qualified to the national finals rodeo in the team roping 11 times. Cindy came from a rodeo family too. Her father is Cotton Rosser, who has owned and operated the Flying U Rodeo Company for a half a century. If everybody rides, they say the bulls aren't any good. If everybody bucks off, they say the riders aren't any good. So. We've got two doggone many good bulls and we need to do something. We need to get some better riders. In fact, 
They've even talked about the ABBI and cloning bulls. But I think they ought to go clone Ty Murray or Justin McBride because the people can't ride the bulls we got now and we're having a hard time getting people to ride them. Cindy has been involved in all aspects of the rodeo industry. She has served as rodeo secretary at the National Finals Rodeo and has been a part of the NFR production team for many years. She knows livestock. You can't just look at a bull and see if he's going to buck. Some bulls don't buck with the dummy, like Troubadour, he, for instance. Troubadour didn't really buck with the dummy. He was a better rider bull. And people don't really, they think that they, you know, that they buck right from the beginning. Some don't. Some are late bloomers, J just like a kid or a, or a racehorse. They, they develop later on when they grow up. One of the main factors you could see it this year at the PBR World Finals, the first, second, and third place bulls in the world all come from the great bull Oscar. Oscar produced some great, great sons, uh, Whitewater being one of them. Just so happens that the first place bull this year, Bones, was, was the nephew to Troubadour, who, who the Marinos have raised and trained themselves. Uh, behind me, you'll see another one of the great Whitewater offsprings, uh, Big Mike. Big Mike's competed in national finals, PBR finals. They've won rounds on him. Big Mike, who we raised out of one of our old foundation cows, has... Uh, really come on and been a superstar in the PBR and the NFR. Um, his mom right now, we're going to get try to raise get embryos out of her. We're going to cross her on Werewolf, and then the next cross on her will be Whitewater. For the volume buyer of the sale, uh, they will get a straw of Whitewater, and for the highest priced single animal will be a straw of Troubadour. And the semen sales that we're having in the sale, there will be a straw of white water, uh, two straws of 105 Cowtown, two straws of werewolf, and two straws of reindeer. So that will be another way uh, to improve your breeding program if you want to buy some straws of those great bulls. You may view the cattle on video at superiorlivestock.com or lookswestproductions.com. Sale purchases can be picked up at the Marino Ranch in Marysville or at Sulphur Springs Livestock in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Yeah, this year we, we retired Reindeer. He's been in the final six years in a row and uh, he's been good to us and he just, he's an exciting bull. We figured he's done it all. He has nothing to prove, he's done it all. We have a reindeer calf in the maturity bushwhacker and he did okay. He hasn't been hauled very much. And, uh, last year we competed, of course, with Troubadour, and he was by Whitewater, who was one of our premier sires. Another fact about Whitewater, he went to the national finals seven times, and he's the only bull to buck at the NFR with three of his sons, White Rock, White Wall, and Watergate. And he has probably sent more bulls to the NFR over the years, NFR and the PBR finals, probably over 30-some bulls, and it's proof in the PBR finals this year about the whitewater genetics, how important they are in a breeding program. And we will have quite a few of those in our sale. So, um, you know, look for them. Thank you. Watch for the Merino Livestock Bucking Stock Herd Reduction Sale on Saturday, November 29th here on RFD TV and brought to you by Superior Productions. These are the people who have raised such legendary bulls as Reindeer Dippin', Whitewater Skull, and Werewolf. This is a one-of-a-kind opportunity to make a big splash in the growing and exciting bucking bull industry. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us.